All right, everyone, there's a link in the description of this video, and there will also be a link if you're on YouTube pinned in the comment section. I have returned to Parler now, which initially was going to be pronounced Parlay, but uh, most people call it Parler, and I think the founder pointed that out how funny that was. It <laughs> doesn't really matter, but um, I, I'm back there, and it's sort of like it's a Twitter alternative similar to Gab, and I like and I'm going to use both platforms. Uh, the thing is that an enormous number of people over the last like 48 hours have have joined parlor I, I had like something like uh, 3500 people following me there and now it's over 8000 in, in a single night so and that was that was without a youtube announcement which is the main audience so keep that or a bit you keep that in mind uh i i foresee great things as far as interaction there I'll probably put some independent content there as well, which I've done on some other sites as well. BitChute exclusive minds post of phot uh, photography and stuff. Um, and the reason why is partially because you got to go when the going's good. Uh, Twitter is falling apart and making a disgrace of itself constantly. Like they keep trying to censor the president of the United States, blatantly violating 230. There are, are rumors that perhaps... Trump's inner circle is prevailing upon him to adopt one or more alt-tech sites. Uh, scuttlebutt is that he's at least aware of their existence. I think it would be legendary if he were to say, you know, fuck this and leave Twitter and put a personal account on Mines or Parler or Gab or something. It, it would cause mayhem. Now, the one problem is that it would probably cause such a site overload it would crash the site. The other problem is that it instantly what would happen if Trump were to join Parler tomorrow, whatever payment processor they have... Whatever host they have, their registrar, all of them would attempt to destroy the site. We've seen this before, that when a, when a site like this gets defamed, it doesn't matter if the defamation is obvious and blatant. It still gets used by like Visa, MasterCard, and Chase Bank, and PayPal, and all these other groups. Uh, because they don't want to rock the boat. Because again, if you're making money, you, you usually want things to remain the same. And so when a horde of social justice warriors is threatening a boycott of your sponsors, typically you take action. Uh, but I'm going to use it. A bunch of other people have joined it. There's also there's also a site, and Ramsey Paul talks about this a lot, called Slug, uh, which I guess is sort of similar to mine's, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I may check it out, but the thing is, it's getting real difficult for me as one person to manage all of my sites and it's impossible for me to put significant amounts of of content unique to these sites like i have bit shoot exclusives i'm thinking of library exclusives because i've gotten uh, more attention now on that site as well but the amount that i can do i'm one person i don't have the kind of income i meant that that i'm at that odd stage where i'm successful enough so i should really have an assistant or something but i don't have the money to pay for one <laughs> it becomes a little bit difficult and also, I just like to control everything myself anyway. I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to that. Like, you know, it's just, it's a difficult time, uh, actually. It, it's weird because I imagine once you get to the point where you're pulling in millions and millions of people, it, it probably becomes less of a problem. But when you're in that sweet spot where you've gotten fairly well known and, and, and reasonably popular, but you're not, you're not Paul Joseph Watson, basically, it's difficult, I will admit at times, to organize things so yourself. I, I mean, some people, they sort of have a loose syndicate sort of thing, and they sort of help each other, but I just, I like to do things myself. And also the other part is culpability. You know, you're partnered with someone and they do something wrong in this day and age, you're the one that gets in trouble. Hell, you just belong to a certain race, you get in trouble for other people's actions these days. Sometimes 150, 200 years ago, so keep this in mind. Uh, but yeah, link in the description. And I will be sharing things out there. Um, it's, it's a well-run site. It does work. The reason that I'm rejoining is partially because initially I lost my password and there was no account recovery option. And so there was no way for me to use the site. Now they've got that option, so I was able to, <laughs> to actually log in. I think I had only posted a few times before I, I lost access to the account. And I was like, well, fuck. And there was no way for me to get it back. I think didn't Candace Owens have a part in creating this site? think so. I'm not 100% sure, but I mean, when Twitter is, you know, destroying itself, if Twitter goes kaput, you know, it's going to be nice to be on other platforms too. It's not like you can gain any real traction on Twitter these days anyway. You have to believe in right think in order to get verified and not get fucked by the algorithms. You're not even allowed to say cool shit on uh, Twitter anymore. Yeah. You should also get on Gab, you know, just pointing that out. It is still a functional site. Although I think growth there is also stalled out. I know Torba claims they're getting like record numbers and stuff. I'm not 100% sure that that's actually accurate. That's about all.
Peace out.